Liar, liar, your pants are on fire. Do you remember that rhyme? Well, hello, and it's great to be with you again. And that's what we're going to think about today is lying or telling the truth. So I want you to guess, am I telling the truth or am I lying? I had muesli for breakfast today. Do you think I'm telling the truth or am I lying? I'm telling the truth. I'm really good at gardening. Do you think I'm telling the truth or am I lying? I'm lying. I'm really not very good at gardening at all. I was in the army. Do you think I'm telling the truth or am I lying? I'm telling the truth. You know, I felt quite uncomfortable and really awkward and guilty about lying when I said I was good at gardening. And that's what lying can do to you. And we're going to look at a story today from the Bible. So you can look it up yourselves if you like. It is in Acts chapter 4, verses 23 to chapter 5, verses 11. But take a look at this. The early church shared everything. They were a brand new community of people who found each other because they believed and followed what Jesus taught when he was on the earth. The way they shared what they had made them stand out. They shared their food. They shared their time. There was even one guy who sold some of his land and gave every cent of the money he earned to the church. In the church, there were two people, a husband and a wife, Ananias and Sapphira. They saw this guy sell his land and said, we should do that too. Let's call this Ananias yeah. and Sapphira. Hmm. Hey, let's do like that other guy and sell some of our land. But are we really going to give all of the money to the church? Everybody shares everything. They don't need all of it. Hmm. You're right. Let's just give them some of the money and we'll keep the rest for ourselves. Ananias brought some of the money to the church, but he lied and said it was all of the money. Peter could tell he was lying. <gasps> Peter said, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit, Ananias? Has Satan filled your heart? You didn't have to sell your land and you didn't have to give the money to the church. And you certainly didn't have to lie and say you gave all of it, but you did. Not only have you lied to the church, but you've lied to God. Upon hearing this, Ananias fell down and died. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? That's how the story goes. He died. Does that mean if I tell a lie, I'm going to die too? Just like that? In the Bible story, Ananias died. In our story, lying might not kill our bodies, but it does weaken our reputation and it kills trust. When the people in the early church heard what happened to Ananias, they knew that lying was something God took seriously. Three hours later, Sapphira came in, but she didn't know what had happened to her husband. Peter gave her a chance to tell the truth. He said, Did you sell the land for the price your husband said? Yep, that's how much we sold it for. Why would you and your husband plan to lie against the Holy Spirit? We just buried him for the same thing. Then she died too, and they buried her with her husband. Everyone in the church heard this story, and they had a healthy respect for God. They knew that not only was God serious about lying, but also building trust. So when we tell lies, our hearts get all messed up. We feel guilty and uncomfortable. That's not what God wants for us. He wants us to be free. He wants our hearts to be open. So let's worship our great big God together and do join in the actions.
So for our craft today, I've got a really simple idea about helping us to remember to keep our hearts open. So you're gonna need a strip of paper. I've chosen red because we're making a heart, but you could choose any color. And we're gonna fold that strip in half. And then we're going to fold back the, the loose ends. Fold back that one, and it's going to make a concertina. So, We've made a concertina, or you could say it looks like a W shape when you open it out. And then we're going to create a heart shape. So I'm going to draw on it. So I think I'm going to use a pencil. And uh, we're going to draw half a heart. So Don't know if you can see there but I've drawn half a heart shape but I've made sure that a good chunk of the fold um, is, is, is going to remain and not get cut off and then I'm going to cut around my heart shape so that little bit there a little bit on the top and this there now here we get to the moment of truth. Have I done it right? When I open it out, look, I've got a heart shape, but it's got two little doors on it. So I can write inside my heart, God, keep my heart open. And there we are. There's a lovely little heart memento for you to remember to keep your heart open. God wants our hearts to be peaceful and not full of worry. So if we've told a lie or a fib, then we can always say sorry to God and he will forgive us and make things right with him. Now, that's not easy. It can be really hard. Maybe, maybe you've told a lie or a fib. Maybe you've got a fib that's a habit like, yeah, I've cleaned my teeth. Let's pray about it together. Father God, thank you that you want our hearts to be peaceful and not full of worry. And so help us to be open with you. Help us to be brave if we need to say sorry for a lie or a fib that we've told. And help us to know that you will forgive us and make things right between us. Amen. Let's finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. It's been great to be with you. And next week, we get to meet in person because it's Messy Church, the 11th of July. So make sure you book a place. We're meeting in church at four o'clock and don't forget to pack a picnic for afterwards. It would be great to see you. And in the meantime, every blessing to you and your family. Bye.